your new Geiger's Precision Depth Finder will be shipped to you in a medium flat rate box. Once you remove the contents of the box, you'll find the main framework of the system. There'll be a number two Morse taper in here, in this little holder. There's a laser light. It can, and the package contains three L44 batteries, a small wrench for adjustment, and a 1 8 inch wrench for securing the laser at the end of the bar here. There's a hole located down the bottom edge of the framework that has female threads in it to accommodate the male threads that are on the end of the Morse taper. In order to insert this properly, make sure that it lines up perfectly and as you screw it in, there should be no resistance as it goes in. If it, you get resistance while you're doing this, then you need to stop, back it up, and reinsert it again. There's a little flat tang on the end. I just use a little wrench and just tighten that up good and snug. You don't have to over tighten it. These are aluminum threads in here. Using a pair of scissors, cut open the package and remove the laser, the three batteries, and the small wrench. Unscrew the top of the laser light. And the top is the end that's got the push button on it. And then invert it so the, the light aperture is pointing upward. <clears throat> Next, position your batteries so that the negative side, the small side, is pointing upward and make a little stack of them. And then lower the opening down over top of the batteries and put your finger here and then turn it over, put the cap back on and then ensure that the light's working. Don't look into the light because it can damage your eyes and um, don't ever point it at any animals or ch let children play with it or anything like that because these can cause eye damage. There's a three quarter inch hole drilled in the top bar. The laser can be inserted into the hole and then there's a set screw at the end here which you can use to tighten against the laser uh, body to hold it into place. But one thing to notice is there's two set screws, one here and one 90 degrees from it on the side of the body of the laser. And those are designed to adjust the position of the aperture and the light beam coming out in uh, an X and Y uh, axes. So when you put, enter this into the hole, make sure that there's one screw facing out this way and one screw facing this way. Put your wrench into the little hole of the set screw and just snug that into place. When you're not using the laser, turn it off to conserve the batteries. In order to make an accurate measurement, once inside of your bowls or hollow forms, it's important that the laser touch the head of the screw in the lower arm. This one is not touching at this time. I have a couple different options available to me. The screw head is adjustable in and out, or I can go to, with the X by aperture adjustment, I can adjust that position of that laser pretty easily. And then I can go to the other one and adjust it over to where the laser's more centered on the screw. And then I can come back to the one at the end and adjust it to it's just touching the head of the screw. That's where we want it for an accurate measurement. When it's fully assembled, the precision depth finder should look like this. And the laser should be adjusted so that it's just touching the head of the screw on the left. 